guys, I'm Mixer Chaos, and welcome to a continuation of our Project Hospital live stream. Now, okay, where were we? Let's quickly run through. We don't have any money. That's nothing strange. Uh, let's see what else is going on over here. We've got no one in TC. Um, mm, there's a few full awards over here, internal medicine and even um, orthopedics. It's got a lot of people in the HDU. And now up here, cardiology is starting to grow. Uh, we've got our neurology doctor's office, but we still need to get to hospitalization. That's where we're at. And I think at the end of the last episode, we actually had a death and we did a bit of an autopsy um, over here and figured out uh, some things and got paid for that, which is a little weird. I'm not too sure why and how that works, but yeah. So there's a lot of space over here, but I think we may have almost, I think we may have topped it out. And now there's a lot of stuff that we still need to do in terms of progressing it. I'm very keen on doing some few, a few more epidemics. So when it gets to 8 a.m., we will start looking at maybe doing another epidemic and see how that goes. Let's moving speedily along as we try and move through this. Not using, not doing a lot of training over there. Oh, and yeah, thanks, Scotty, for reminding me about the title. This time, I didn't forget it. A patient is collapsing. Let's have a look. Uh, ooh, dilated cardiomyopathy. Um, there's a few things scheduled over here, but at the moment, you've got a little bit of heart failure going on. So let's defib, and we hopefully will try and figure out what's going on with you. ICU hospitalization straight away. That's okay. Should be should be okay. I'm hoping they can get the 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 tests done quickly enough. Go to there. How how full is uh, ICU? I think we've got one spare bed maybe. Okay, got someone coming into TC. Let's have a look what's going on here. Long wait for ECG. Okay, we might have a look at that now. Getting to be uh, doing all the emergency care services things. Um, getting paid to tell what he, she died for. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's basically that's basically what happened at the uh, at the autopsy. What's going on over here? Chlorine gas. Okay, hospitalized. Going to observation. This one artificial ventilation. Traumatic cardiac arrest. Okay, all kinds of stuff happening there, but there's still a flashing symptom over here. Cardiovascular surgery is required, but I'm assuming we're going to move you to do something else or the doctor is still underway. Yeah, moving you to uh, to cardiology. Hopefully, they will figure out what's going on over there as soon as possible. Okay, almost the end of the shift. There's a lot of patients... Um, in the wards over here, so I'm hoping a fair bit of them will be discharged and we'll uh, get a get a good um, influx of cash. Monitored patient is collapsing, but we don't. Uh, the flashing symptom is not. Is, 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 there's not no problem there. Oxygen therapy is underway. Artificial ventilation should be okay. Should be okay. Um, I had a question in the comments on YouTube about whether these PCs make any real difference. So what I thought I'd do is I'd quickly open open that up and see if if they get something here. PC creates a workspace for one employee. Can be placed on work desk or a reception desk. Um, and that's just similar stuff there all the time. So it doesn't actually say anything. It's, uh, so I, I assume they do exactly the same the same thing. Oops, wrong button as per usual. Okay. Almost 8 a.m. Change of shift is coming and then we'll we'll go. What's going on here? How did we go? Oh, we did manage to get 117%. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, and we failed an event, of course. So, yeah, that's problematic, but still got 170%. Oh, actually, maybe today is going to be hit by that. One critical workload and I miss... Ooh, look at that change of shift. We're going to need a ton of money to come in at 8 a.m. 
One critical workload, it's probably again in the radiology department. How to make easy money in Project Hospital? Clean your floors. Get your prestige up. That is the, that's the one you want. Why, why hasn't this patient had any, had any, I mean, any other work done here? It, uh, it, it, it bothers me. It bothers me that, that they're just kind of waiting to do the, to do the, uh, let's just try and do some of these other bits and pieces. See if that can help us out at all. Defib, please. Yeah, so clean the floors so that you get your, so that you get your, um, your numbers up here. If you get your prestige above 90, 95%, I think, then you get, um, then you get 120% ins insurance payments. So that's definitely something that I think you should be looking at. You need more TC doctors and nurse. Why? There's no one in TC. Um, okay, 8 a.m. Let's see everybody leave. Money. Money, money, money. Not enough. Pharmacy is too small because everybody's leaving at the same time. Pharmacy um, does a, you know, and if you add a pharmacy quickly, then uh, then you can get double up uh, some money because then you actually get paid like this. When the people leave, they start uh, they start paying. There we go. Everybody starts paying a little bit extra, a little bit extra. We should get a fair bit of money through here. But I'm still worried that we're not quite there with the budget. The budget wasn't uh, wasn't quite on track as we wanted. Okay, now it's like 9 a.m. and I'm going to do the um, the epidemic now. So let's go for the epidemic. We need to get uh, a few epidemics through. An outbreak of disease at a local petting zoo has caused the spread of various viral and bacterial diseases. Authorities recommend avoiding the area and are asking people who have visited the zoo to immediately report to local hospitals. Okay, here they come. Uh, we've got a few spots in internal medicine. Hopefully it's enough. Okay, we've got plenty of doctors around in, uh, in ER. So hopefully they can deal with that pretty quickly. We had three people leave. Hmm, not good. Now, TC is, is running, running smoothly at the moment. They move people through TC pretty quickly. It's only really when we do the car crashes or when we do the crashes that, that this kind of thing gets out of control here. Oh, look at that. So we're curing patients at a rapid pace. There's only like five of them. Um, and we figured out uh, three of their... Oh, this guy, was that? And the guy's training. I don't know why I clicked on him. Anyway, um, three of them. This one will be treated soon. And this one is still kind of waiting. Um, but we're already doing a little bit of symptom um, checking over here. So that should be good. There's a flashing symptom, however, which uh, makes me worry a little bit. Chills, can we figure out? Oh my goodness, IV antibiotics, please. Get that done very quickly. And I'm worried about this. Can we please do maybe do a CRP, see if that helps us out a little bit? I'm worried about that one there. I don't want a patient to die on us. Do we need to move them to another department? I don't think we, we have to. I think we can deal with this over here. But we do definitely need someone to provide some of these things. So what other symptoms do we need to at least give, give a few things for? Um, so we'll get some anti-fever stuff. We'll, what is this, recommendations? Yeah, so this is basically just, oh no, no, hang on. Examination, hang on. Anti-fever stuff, done and NSA, uh, NSA, you know, anti-inflammatory drugs. There we go, let's try that. Hopefully it's gonna suppress some of these issues that we've been having. Uh, we'll even go for some of this. I'm just hoping we can, wow, there's so many things actually scheduled up over here. Can we just start treating as well? Okay, hang on. Let's uh, let's get out of this view. So we've got, we just need to treat this last one. So can we quickly see where you are at? Where's my doctors? Do we now need probably, oh, there we go. Nice, so now we've done two out of three. Oh, 
Patient is collapsing. Where are you? Hospitalized. Uh, in observation, actually. IV antibiotics is underway. Uh, you did not have surgery. You have septic shock. This is an interesting one. Hopefully, they can sort you out. Uh, all of this, however, will be general surgery, general surgery, and general surgery. I think we should move you to general surgery, actually. Can we figure, can we figure this out? Another monitored patient is collapsing. Cardiac blunt injury, okay. But we've got, at least we figured out the stuff that's, that's problematic. Cardiovascular surgery is, uh, is going to happen. Let's code blue this patient. And I want to quickly check the surgery table at cardiology. Okay. So our co code blue patient is uh, at the top of the list. We've also got a pretty, uh, well, we've got, got an ICU patient that's waiting on cardiovascular surgery also. Okay, what's going on over here? Figured out some stuff, doing a chest x-ray. Oh, that one stopped. Uh, okay, so maybe we figured out the, uh, so we're at least suppressing this, the symptom that's, that's problematic. Okay, good, that helps a lot. Um, there's no free bed in ICU. Hmm, who needs to go to ICU? Are you collapsing? Uh, what we could do is we could send you to TC though, but what do you need? You need nitrates. Can we give you nitrates in TC? Uh, uh, in TC? That's the question. So one of the tricks that, they've, that, they've, uh, that I've seen is that you can actually just uh, untick this and then send them, send them somewhere else. We won't be able to get another ICU bed in here. So one of the things that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to at some point build a bigger ICU. Uh, let's quickly have a look in ICU. How many people do we have here? Can we move some of you out somewhere? No, you're still on artificial ventilation. Yeah, some of you should be able to, we should be able to move you to like HDU hospitalization. Can we say, can't, can't do that. You should be better, right? Can we move you out? No, for some reason, no, we can't do any of that. Oh, well, you're on artificial ventilation still. And then over here, skipped after waiting for too long. Hmm. Okay. Problems. Problems, I tell you. Problems. Um, I don't think we are in a position to add an extra bed in here. <laughs> we can squeeze a bed in like that. Build them like Tetris. Um, yeah, no, so we're going to... We're going to need to expand ICU uh, in some way, shape, or form. Oh, we probably need more doctors in ICU too, actually. Look at this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's, uh, let's actually add an, uh, an, at least one more, one more set of ICU doctors in here. ICU diagnostics, maybe. Probably we need anesthesiologists in here, maybe. Oh, yeah, you're, look, you're looking pretty good. We'll grab you. And then uh, we'll get another nurse also. That looks pretty good. I know there's an extra one, but I'm just gonna grab, grab it like that. Okay, so now we've got that going on. Uh, long wait for ICU, this guy. Collapsed patient is waiting for a bed. Can we just move you, can we do that and we'll move you to TC? Mm, doesn't want to, does not want to. Not at all, okay. So that, that trick's probably been uh, been patched. <laughs> little expert. Another one? Oh my goodness, no. Okay, we've got a little bit of money. So the question is, do we go ahead and add, add some more? Ooh, what's going on over here? Can we, we could potentially do these as ICU. Oh, we can't really do these as ICU beds. Let's have a look. So, oh, they, they are actually probably being used. Those are being used and then general is not, they're not using this one. Okay, what I'll do is we'll close that one off for general. And what we'll do is we will expand the ICU into this area. Um, okay, can we, 
can we? I want to grab these beds. We'll get rid of these beds. We'll go ahead and get the modern beds. Uh, like so. Okay, and then we need, um, I don't think they get bedside tables, yeah. They don't get bedside tables. Let's, uh, let's just put that over there so we'll get rid of the, the bedside tables over here. And we'll move this thing back in here. Like so, and then we need, um, so we've got the life support, it should be fine. Now we need, what else do we need? Uh, let's mark it as ICU first. ICU, ICU, let's do ICU over there. Okay, now we need life support. Oh, hang on. Oh, they can't be this close together. Okay, well, we'll, Okay, well, we'll move it over to the other side of the room then. I think that's going to work. Okay, so ICU needs to be a little bigger. Something like that should do the trick though. Got a life monitor over there. Over there, another life support. Right here, and we need ventilators. Oh, we need a ton of other stuff in here as well. Hmm. Maybe not the best way of doing it, considering where our cash is at. We're gonna do two ventilators and we're gonna run out of money. Mm, not sure. Okay, now the beds are done, but we need so many other little things in here now. We've got defer, but we need maybe some of this. An equipment cabinet on the floor, yeah. It's gonna need, um, wow, they need a ton of stuff in here. That doesn't wanna go on there. Is there something above it? I don't know. Okay, that doesn't wanna work. We'll probably need an equipment table then. Get that on there. But out of money, so we won't be able to buy. Oh, no, out of money. So we'll have to, ooh, we still have a loan. Whoops, okay. Well, it is what it is for us at the moment. It is what it is. Let's uh, see about that one. Over here, we're probably gonna, ooh, a mobile workstation, wow. It's getting out of hand here. And we need a little bit more, uh, we need a CRP station also. So we'll grab one more thing over there and we'll get CRP scan on there. So now we at least have that available. I'm kind of tempted to just do a little bit of flooring here. Let's just do a little bit of standard flooring um, right over there. Come on, stop doing that. Okay, now they should be able to move people around into that ICU over there. That's not great. I do want to, but what we'll do is we'll move all of these things over to the right spots and, and so on. Okay, what's going on over here? Oh. Oh, that's good. This is kind of what I had in mind here with this guy. He's being ICU hospitalized in TC. Actually work. That's good. That's very good. Employee has finished training. Let's continue that training. Thank you. Okay, they probably move him up to ICU, the additional ICU beds now. Nice, employee has leveled up to specialist. Okay, that's good, no problem. Uh, that's one of the people. Okay, cardiovascular surgery. We really need those cardiovascular surgeons to get through a little bit quicker. Swag stoplight. Yeah, is that uh, is that the um, emote? Yeah. Oh, it's got a, it's. <laughs> It's got the uh, glasses on. I like it. Sunglasses. Nice. Um, okay. Wow, there's a lot happening. 
a lot and I wanted to do another epidemic actually. While we still have a few people here, let's do another epidemic. We've got money. Oh, yeah. If we can get a little bit more money, it would be good. This flu season has been uh, has been worse than usual with a larger than expected number of people contracting the virus. Doctors are advising people to attend their local hospital if they believe they have the virus. Expect a significant increase in patients. Let's do that. How many are we expecting? Ooh, a lot. A lot. Hopefully we can get through them fairly quickly. 15 minutes is on the clock there for us. Here they come. We've got plenty of doctors around, I believe. Should be able to get through them very quickly. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, specialization is available over here, so let's have a look. Oh, it's another janitor, so no specialization really. Okay. And monitoring patient is collapsing. Okay, who's this? Uh, oh, you should be ICU hospitalized, actually. Is this, uh, what do you need? You need nitrates. Can someone just give you nitrates, please? Oh, we can't give you nitrates over here. Hmm. That's an issue. Can't be prescribed by this department. Can we move you to somewhere else? Oh, no. This is a problem. Can we get you to, oh, defibrillation. Maybe you'll go to ICU hospitalization now. Can we not move you to ICU? Code blue you, maybe. See if that works. A bad virus, yeah. Let's see, we've already cured 20%. Patient is collapsing. Wow, more heart situations. Get some beta blockers going there. And, okay, hopefully, and then we actually need to find out what's going on with your other symptoms. Can't move a collapsed patient and still stabilized. Okay, so hopefully when he's stabilized, after defibrillation, we'll keep a close eye. Uh, okay, that's done. I believe with the def so defibrillation should have been done now. So can we now move you? Yeah, we can. So the question is, can we move you to cardiology? Ah, uh, but then you'll just go to ICU, I think. Nitrates, okay, good. Another level up there. We're moving through these people pretty quickly. Let's just have a quick look what's going on on the list. So this per person still doesn't have a diagnosis. But we are testing. We are testing. Another moment the patient is collapsing. Let's keep that going. I'm trying to figure out here. So let's have a quick look. Do we have a flashing symptom? No, we don't. Um, have we done PCR testing? Can we do some maybe microbial as well then? If we've got some of this in here. Patient is collapsing. More patients collapsing. Hidden symptoms, which I don't like. Uh, okay, what's the what's the flashing symptoms here? Oh, I've got it up here. Uh, elevated CRP, fatigue. Uh, what is this? Swollen pericardium. Okay, so CT. So CT is being scheduled, so we should do that. Um, this is IV corticosteroids, so let's just start treating. Um, we'll have to move you to somewhere where they can. Hospitalization is required for this treatment. Um, I'm kind of wondering whether we maybe just leave you here in TC for the time being. But we can't give you what you need. So we'll have to move you over to... Okay, you're being, you, you need to be stabilized first. Hmm. Why is so many of my patients collapsing? Um, blood transfusion is actually being prescribed. There's nothing else. So you should be okay. We should be able to figure you out. With the blood tra uh, transfusion, we should be able to do that. Okay, let's quickly have a look. How many doctors do we have currently working over here? Just so that we double check that we... That we just have enough people here now. So if we go to emergency, one, two, three, four, five five and there's only three patients so i don't think we need more um we've got probably a few patients up here seems to be okay though can we get the blood transfusion going 
Yes, no, maybe, not at all. I don't, I, I, ah, there we go. Nice, so that should suppress some of those symptoms for us. Over here, we should be, oof. Can we just do that test so that we figure out what's going on? And nitrates is actually being administered. Over here. Good, so that should suppress all of the other bits and pieces. Good. You are in need of cardiovascular surgery ASAP. And it's not been done yet, I can imagine. Cardiology. Yeah, so you're still on the top of the list. We just need to get cardiology. Okay, let's quickly have a look at what's going on in cardiology. Where are my doctors? I've got enough doctors in the day, not at night though. Let's quickly see, do we have, do we add, well, let's have a look. This operating theater is empty. Well, just empty. That operating theater is empty. So I don't know, I don't necessarily know if we need another operating theater, they're not using them. Not sure, anyway, that needs the surgery. Not sure we're gonna be able to get you to, to survive. Abdominal surgery, long wait. Hmm. It's getting a little bit out of hand actually. How many of these do have we now treated? Still haven't figured out what's wrong with you, but we are slowly treating. Ah, oh, we figured it out. Excellent. Can we get the treatments done? Okay, what treatment do you need? Antimycotics. Okay, so let's get you some of those going. We'll get that. Uh, anything else that we can give you some treatments for? You need rest and some of this. Oh, we'll just go ahead and give you some of the others. Perfect, there we go. Nice. Thank you, please leave. You need what exactly? You need antibiotics. Let's make sure to give you your antibiotics and anything else. And it's, um, and some of this and some of that and some of those. Good stuff, thank you. Let's clear you out of there. Joseph, what do you need? You need antimarcotics. Let's give you some of that and anything else. Some of this and some anti-fever stuff. Let's modify your diet, give you some rest and give you some of those. Nice. Uh, and then <clears throat> another Joseph over here, you're gonna need the same thing, antimycotics, and we'll give you 